June 27th dawned hot and humid in Carthage. One by one, the prisoners had been released until only four remained, Joseph, Brother Hiram, John Taylor, and Willard Richards. They spent the day in contemplation and taking turns preaching to the guards. Several were convinced and were dismissed from duty. Joseph wrote a final note to Emma. I am very much resigned to my lot, knowing I have done the best that could be done. Give my love to the children and all my friends, and may God bless you all. By afternoon, the mood grew somber. A poor wayfaring man of grief hath often crossed me on my way, who stood so humbly for relief that I could never answer nay. I had not power to ask his name where to he went or whence he came. Yet there was something in his eye that won my love. I knew not why. The last time I saw Joseph was early that morning at Carthage. I told him I would die with him. I should never have left him. He's gone, William. And all we have left are the memories. Not only his memory, we have his teachings, we have his revelations, we have the kingdom of God on earth. I think you will write your hymn, William, and the words will come.
I do not think that a man lives on the earth that knew Joseph Smith any better than I did. And I am bold to say that no better man ever lived. I feel like shouting hallelujah all the time when I think that I ever knew Joseph Smith the prophet. Brigham Young.